the helix r1 of t is equal to cos t i plus sine t j plus t k intersects the curve r2 of t is equal to 1 plus t i plus t squared j plus t cubed k at the point 1 0 0. Find the angle of intersection of these curves. Okay, so we're given two curves defined in terms of this unit vector, uh, you know, the three unit vectors multiplied by functions of t. So as t uh, ranges over the reals, we'll get, uh, they'll trace out curves in three dimensional space. I'll take it for granted that uh, these two, two curves do intersect at the point one, zero, zero. So in order to find the angle of intersection of these curves at that point, what I will do is compute directional derivatives, basically just compute derivatives of the two curves with respect to t at that point. This will give me two vectors which point in the direction that each of the two curves now the point in the tangential direction of those curves at that point and then using those vectors and dot product formulas and inverting the cosine we should be able to find the angle let me start by writing down everything that we're given here so we could check that these curves intersect at the point one zero zero um that if i look at the second curve to get 1, 0, 0, I clearly need t to be equal to 0. And then r1 of 0, well, the coordinates here, well, this is just going to be i, i hat, right? And r2 of 0 will also give me i hat. So the derivative of the first curve with respect to t is that just differentiating each of the coefficients with respect to t and evaluating this at t equals zero gives j plus k j hat plus k hat we'll do the same thing for r2 get this um, and so it looks like these curves are going to be perpendicular, right? Because what I want, the angle between them is going to be, um, well, let's write out, you know, the dot product formula. Will be this. And so what I need Theta will be cos inverse of the dot product divided by the magnitude. We should be able to read the magnitude of these things pretty easily. Uh, R1 has a magnitude of root 2, and R2, uh, R2 prime has a magnitude of 1. But the dot product here is equal to zero, right? And so theta is equal to pi over two or 90 degrees. Yeah, um, not too bad of a problem. It's just sort of understanding how to piece together several different types of geometrically related things when you're given you know curves in three dimensions parameterized by by something understanding that you can take a derivative of the expressions given here and at any value of t this will give a vector which is tangent to the curve pointing the direction the curve is moving and so if we want the angle of intersection we it's the same as taking the angle between two vectors which are tangent to each of the curves at the point of intersection. And then it's just understanding the dot product formula. Nice problem, uh, kind of combines a couple of different things. If I have anything else to say, I'll put it in the description. Thanks for watching.